the gospel reflection of the day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mombani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the soul. On this Monday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time, the 21st day in the month of August 2023, we celebrate St. Pius X, Pope. May we emulate his example of simplicity, poverty, and fortitude. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 19, verse 16 to 22. Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and mother. Also, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all this. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this word, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Wow! Reading this gospel, don't we identify with the rich young man? Yes, we do. He is such a good fellow, and it makes him sad as much as it does him that he can't sell all that he has to go and follow Jesus. It saddens us because neither can we go sell all that we have and give it to the poor and completely follow Jesus. We are reluctant. We are fearful. We don't have security without attaching ourselves to things and people. We know we have our small and big attachments in life that often deter us from fully plunging ourselves into God's loving providence for our sustenance. We all have things we feel we need and cannot live without them. Not only things, but even people, relationships that we feel we can't fully detach from. Whether they are really needs or wants, that's another question. One thing is sure, there are very few of us, if any, living the evangelical poverty to which Jesus calls us his disciples. We all seem to do all right with living life and keeping the commandments. But perfection, that's another matter. Yes, there are always those special souls like Mother Teresa, St. Clare, St. Francis, and others, the living saints of our time, who embrace poverty and make Jesus their total and complete possession. These individuals, if they ever lived in our own time, would make many of us quite uncomfortable because they lived as a reminder of what Jesus calls us to be and what we have not yet and seemingly cannot attain. Their lives and that of many that are living today help us to have a sense of responsibility towards those who have little or even nothing at all. They coerce us into sharing and being less possessive and even greedy. The rich young man is you and I, dear friend. We will go just so far. Maybe it's really the most and the best we can ever do. And yet, in our sinfulness, in our inadequacies, in our lack of correspondence to the will of God, Jesus still looks upon us with deep love and he never casts us off. Thank you, Lord. He is always there for us. He will never, never abandon us. And so we pray. Holy Lord, we have several things in our life that really keep us from fully surrendering our hearts to you. Give us the spirit of detachment 
and the courage to totally depend on you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us all. Praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalie Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the story.